Tom fires down the middle for Edelman. Leaps to make the grab. Comes down with a stiff arm. Running away from the defender. Edelman to the end zone. Touchdown, Patriots! Long before Tom Brady dubbed him Minitron, Julian Edelman was Jules, a Bay Area kid whose passion for football was fostered by his father, Frank. Well, I was kind of one of those dads that would always practice. <laughs> we always had to go home, do our homework, and then it was do a 45 blast or something like that. We went to Disney World and we played in the uh, Pop Warner National Championship. Is this like y you and dad getting ready for the cameras early on in life? <laughs> we had a walkthrough that was to go to the Super Bowl uh, in the gym because it was pouring rain or something. That's funny. That was probably one of the most fun times of, of my younger life. But life presented challenges for the aspiring quarterback, specifically growth. Once he got to high school, he was still four foot ten. You know, I'd go into my dad's room and I'd be crying or something. I'm, you know, real young. You know, when am I going to grow this, that? All of a sudden, he grew like eight inches, gained 50 pounds. And so when Jules came back, uh, his senior year, it was on. Edelman led his Woodside, California high school team to the Central Coast section title in 2004. Woodside football was unbelievable and we did it. He wasn't highly recruited, so Julian decided on junior college ball down the road at the College of San Mateo. The first time we, we met was in a, the conference room right down the hall in a recruiting meeting and he, he stopped us in the middle and he's looking at the wall and he goes, where are you gonna put my picture after I win All-State All-American? It was quite cocky, quite a statement, but uh, his picture ended up there, so. <laughs> in one season as San Mateo's quarterback, he accounted for 31 touchdowns. But instead of staying out west, he moved 2,500 miles east and transferred to Kent State, where the competition got bigger. He had a 6'5 quarterback that was a transfer. Jules is 5'10 and a half. His first day on campus, he walked right up to the guy that was the starting quarterback and told him he's getting ready to take his job. And he did. I've never seen one player change the whole culture of a place like he did. Well, our last game, there's about a minute left, and we had about a third and 12, and we ran a zone read option. Julian, I knew he was going to keep the ball. Edelman himself. Edelman turns up field, and he is going to be. Wow. He's still going. Look he got Julian it. Edelman. And I remember on the headphones telling our coaches, you know, that play epitomizes what this kid's all about. As a dual threat QB, he generated 52 touchdowns in three years with the Golden Flashes. While most NFL teams overlooked him as a quarterback prospect, his phone still rang on day two of the 2009 NFL Draft. So Jules runs out the front door, and all of a sudden, pick 232, Julian Edelman, the Patriots, they said, we, we drafted you, and then they put coach on. He said, we don't know what you can play, but you can play football. Not many guys uh, that can be told no as many times as he's been told no and, and keep that drive and commitment and that unwavering belief in themselves. That's what makes him special. After playing mostly special teams his first four seasons, Edelman emerged. He's caught nearly 200 passes in the two years since Wes Welker departed via free agency. And this season, a throwback to the tiny four foot 10 quarterback with an arm as big as his heart. He's gonna look to throw downfield. Amandola wide open, makes the catch of the 18 and stride. He's gone, touchdown! What a play call! It was fun, let's, let's not get carried away with it. Definitely a great team play. I was very fortunate to be uh, drafted here and um, it's, been, it's been a crazy road ever since.